Hello everybody, this is the Funkaholic. And Funkaholic 2. And we are here with a different kind of video. It's kind of a serious video and I don't really do serious that often. But this is a serious subject. I do want to say that this uh, video was suggested to me by um, Nicole Jones. I appreciate that because I just sometimes miss stuff like this. Um, so here we go. And I'm going to do it with Funkos, so there's still some Funkos in this video. Um, October is Breast, Breast Care Awareness Month. This is so important that I'm really glad Ni Nicole told me. I, for some reason, thought it was February. And um, I'm really appreciative of you, Nicole, for a lot of different reasons, but the, this is the one right now. <laughs> and so running up to um, the day of the month that I believe is probably very important is National Mammography Day. I hope you all know what a mammography is. It's a test that is not all that unpleasant. I know a lot of people say it is, but I think breast cancer is a little bit more unpleasant. So the, the test is just putting your breast on a machine and the other part comes in and they do um, basically an x-ray and a mammography can detect a tumor or or a place a precancerous tumor uh, m quite a bit before you can feel it but you should do self exams they're very important and the best way I have found to do it is in the shower with lots of soap and there's it, it's so much you think it would be just around the breasts but it's really up under your arm all the way down your side because we're talking lymph nodes and that is the last place you want any kind of cancer because that does spread uh, from the lymph, no lymph nodes through your body quite quickly. So you need to be on top of that. So I'm going to give you some tips and give you some information and I'm going to do it with Funko Pops. So we were talking about the mammography or the mammogram and how important it is. So I have two Care Bears here. They're actually both called Love A Lot Bears and you will feel love for yourself. You'll feel kind of um, empowered because you know that you are well and that's an empowering feeling. So here's my little love a lot bears. As you can see this bear is solid. This bear is see-through. If he had or she had a tumor maybe up under the um, arm in the armpit area we might be able to see that but of course we're not love a lot bears exclusive to entertainment earth we are solid human beings so that goes back to making sure that you have your exam depending on how old you are um, because of my age my exam excuse me should be once a year um, I am late for mine and that's my bad I need to get it done I have trouble getting out and getting to the doctor it's really hard on me and yeah breast cancer would be a lot worse as I said so I really need to get out and get that done now I have a lying cat. He's a lying cat and he's pink. 
pink is the color and I didn't have pink ribbons I have a few ribbons for um, I have some things for autism and for depression and that kind of thing but I don't have a pink ribbon which I'm gonna need to get one the reason I use the lion cat uh, especially the pink one is women probably men too lie to themselves they say it won't happen to me I don't have to go and get a test because this would never happen to me well it happens at the percentage of breast cancer I didn't write it down and it was high it's very high and so don't be a lying cat especially a pink one um, don't lie to yourself be true to yourself and and understand that breast cancer isn't like it used to be it is not immediately term terminal um, and you can live through it and after it whatever you have to do there's a lot of things and there are treatments and testing and um, all kinds of things that have to do with genetics and so don't be afraid because you can get through it you can get through it especially if you have a good backup system and I hope you all do if you don't maybe you know ask your friends a lot of people don't tell other people they have breast cancer they just kind of disappear for one week a month or something like that depending on if they have chemo or radiation so maybe start a little group you don't have to meet once a week maybe once a month every other month and just encourage each other um okay this is a diamond collection bell she was I believe the first diamond collection so she is um, kind of special and there's a lot of people that are special who get breast cancer um, if you look at certain celebrity bios if especially on wiki if they have a medical history you would be very surprised how many people acquire not acquire but um, end up with breast cancer I don't know the specifics of how you get it but I do know that it is something you don't want when it doesn't have to be as unpleasant as it does as it is in the later stages and I'm using Belle in her beautiful pink outfit just to let you know that everybody is subject to breast cancer ever anybody can get it so I know a lot of celebrities of celebrities think they're above getting things like that and I would tell you to look up Angelina Jolie she took testing and found that she was prone to breast cancer in her DNA and that she was prone to I believe uterine cancer and she had everything removed she won't get it and not that I particularly care for her um, she's done a few movies I enjoy but I just you know I have some issues with with her lifestyle but um, I admired very much when she came out and told her story that you know you have this test and it um, tells you what what um, very serious diseases that that you're just prone in your DNA to get so if you have access to that type of test then take it and don't be afraid a lot of people don't get tested for so many illnesses because they're afraid what are you afraid of finding out you have it 
I, ha I cannot tell you how many people I have heard, especially back in the late 80s, early 90s, when AIDS was raging, acquired immune deficiency syndrome, and it started, it wasn't just raging in the gay community where people say it started, it was raging in the young adult um, drug users people who got tainted blood, it it was scary. But so many people said, no, I'm not going to go get tested. Why not? Because I'm afraid I'll have it. Well, I can understand that AIDS is horrible, just like breast cancer is horrible. But do what you can do to keep your health as long as you can. Look at people now. I know he has a ton of money, but look at Magic Johnson. My God, he, you know, he's had, he's had AIDS for years. And every time you see him, he looks pretty healthy. He's hefty. He has weight on him. And he looks good. There's other people. There's a sitcom star, and I can't remember his name, but he has lived four years with AIDS. It happens. I'm not going to say, you know, it's going to happen for you, but there are better drugs. The prices on them are coming down. I know I'm talking about breast cancer, but I also have um, some strong beliefs that testing for AIDS is an absolute must. So there's that. Okay, my next pop, and we're keeping with the pink, and a matter of fact, this is shocking pink. This is Raven in her pink um, little outfit. And if you know Raven and you know and you've watched Teen Titans go, you know she is very strong. And um, I'm shaking. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm just nervous talking about something besides pops and entertainment. But if um, she probably would go get the test if a cartoon character could go get a test and make sure they didn't have um, breast cancer, she would go get the mammogram. I know she would. <laughs> so be strong, be like Raven, or just be like you, and go get tested. And if something happens and you have a tumor, that doesn't mean it's breast cancer, but it does mean it could be pre-cancer, and you can stop it. Hopefully, you can at least make it better by the treatments that are available now, which were not available to people um, years ago when women died left and right of breast cancer. It was like one of the scariest diagnoses there were for women. And be strong. Go get it. Find out. Um, I just have a couple more. <laughs> okay. These little guys are from Sailor Moon. There's, and I want you to think for a while that these are sisters. And I honestly don't know. For all I know, they could be. But uh, we have the Red Queen's, um, I can't see it, Red Queen, Queen's Serenity, Small Lady, and King Endy Endymion. I guess that's how you say it. The two girls that are sisters are important to each other for more reasons than just because they're sisters and they have a special relationship. If one of them ended up having breast cancer, then the other one should go in and have a mammogram and get tested. One of the first things they ask you is, has there been any any um, breast cancer in your family and what they are interested in is your closest family. Mostly siblings like sis like your sister. Um, mothers also. 
pants, not so much, um, but definitely sisters. So if you have a sister who either had a tumor and it was benign or did have breast, breast cancer or does have breast, breast cancer, that is a signal for you to get off the couch <laughs> and go get tested. Because it could be nothing. You may never get it just because your sister, your sibling has it. But then again, could be something. So get it, get it done. It's really important. And I have this little guy here at the end. Where is he? This little guy. Did you know that men can get breast cancer? Yes, they can. Men have breast tissue. If you have breast tissue, you can get you can get uh, breast cancer and if you are interested in reading up on um, a celebrity that had breast cancer who was a man I would look up Richard Roundtree he had breast cancer I can't remember if he died of it or not um, men don't check themselves they probably a lot of men don't know that they can get breast cancer, but they can. Um, obviously, it's a lot less likely, but it happens. Why take the chance when it? You can go take. I'm not sure how they they um, they test men if they do a mammogram. That's probably done differently, um, unless they're heavy and they have more breast tissue. But, you know, do a self-exam. You would probably feel a tumor quicker than a woman would, but the mammogram is still probably the um, go-to test that people would do. Okay, this is my last pop that I'm showing you. This is Stitch, an angel, and little scrump. Such a cute family. But what would happen if Angel disappeared and died? Because she didn't get her breast cancer, she didn't get her mammogram, or never did her testing, or anything like that. Then, oops, you would have Stitch and Scrump. Do you really want Stitch to raise your child? Think about it. How many mothers would be horrified if their child was taken care of by a husband who is probably has a big job and he's not home as much and the child needs extra, extra care after losing a parent or having a parent so severely ill? So... I guess that is my last, um, that is my last plea. Like I said, there are probably marches, there's probably meetups. You can definitely find survivor groups or, um, any kind of group that would tell, give you information and that's on um, October Breast Cancer uh, National Mammogram Mammography Day is the 18th of this month. The whole month is um, Breast Care Awareness, and I think you should pass it on. Um, talk to your older daughters, talk to your sisters, talk to your neighbors, whoever you feel comfortable talking to about it, and help save somebody's life. So once again, I would like to thank Nicole Jones for an excellent idea. I hope that this was an easy to understand video, and I hope that if one person goes and gets a mammogram, then I've done my job. But I'm hoping that everybody within the sound of my voice 
who's probably running away because that woman's talking again. <laughs> but go and do the right thing, do the safe thing, and live as long as just enjoy your life knowing you're breast cancer free. Alrighty guys, that's what I have for you right now. I do have a pop that's kind of serious pop and I, I'm going to be back and do that uh, review. And that's all for right now. So this is the Funkaholic. And Funkaholic too. And we are gone. Bye.